Hey everybody, welcome to Pixzilla. My name is Ken, and today we're talking about autofocus and how your camera focuses. As well, we'll be talking about how we as photographers choose what to focus on. Now going into the technicals about how a camera focuses is a little bit too deep for a beginner photographer, but just know that your camera uses two main ways to focus. The first is called phase detection, and the second is called contrast detection. Phase detection is what most modern cameras use and is significantly faster than contrast detection. So in your camera, there's an autofocus sensor that's composed of a great many number of autofocus points. Each autofocus point has a number of sensors that detect focus in various orientations. The cross type sensor is the most sensitive and is preferred by most photographers because of its increased accurateness. Cross type sensors has a sensor that is horizontal as well as vertical to detect focus in both orientations. I highly recommend that you choose a focus point that has a cross type sensor when you're focusing. Now cameras have two different main modes to focus. The first is called AI servo and the second is one shot. Of course that doesn't rule out manual focus which means that you switch to complete control over focus as the photographer. In some cameras there is also a focus mode called AI focus which basically is a combination between one shot and AI servo. But for the purposes of this video, we'll be focusing mainly on AI servo and one shot focus. Now, one shot focus or single shot focus is very easy to understand. It's when you lock your focus on one point and no matter what happens, that focus does not move. AI servo, on the other hand, relies on your camera to detect when there's movement in the frame and to track the motion of whatever you're tracking. This type of focus is useful if there's movement in the frame, such as in a wedding ceremony, if someone is walking down the aisle, or if you're tracking cars or animals or your kids. Cameras today are becoming increasingly more powerful for AI systems for switching focus. So with the technicals out of the way, how do we as photographers choose what to focus on in our pictures? When people view our images, we want them to be able to know exactly where the subject is. And that's the point of focus. So as a photographer, you wanna point your focus point at the area of the subject that you want to be the sharpest. If you're shooting a portrait, that would be the eyes of the person. If you're shooting a flower, for instance, you might want that to be the center of the flower. Or let's say you're shooting a landscape photo of a mountain, you might want to focus on the mountain in the back. You have the ability as a photographer to move your focal point throughout the frame so that you can compose your picture more powerfully. And we'll talk more about composition in a future video. So just remember these rules. If it's a portrait, you probably want to focus on the eyes of the person. If it's an object, you want to focus on the object itself. Your camera might actually have the ability to turn on AI servo, which allows you to be able to focus directly on the eyes of the person automatically. Your camera might actually do the thinking for you, but in some cases that might confuse the camera. Let's say for instance your camera is set to focus on the face or the eyes of a person, but let's say you're shooting a wedding ceremony or a wedding reception where there's multiple people to focus on. I've been in many situations like this before, where basically the camera is confused and it doesn't know where to focus. So as a photographer, it's really important for you to be able to tell the camera exactly where to focus. And in those situations, it relies on us as photographers to know our cameras well enough to be able to switch to one shot focus or single point focus so that we can tell the camera exactly where to focus. Now keep in mind that focus is influenced by depth of field. If your lens is able to go down to 1.2 or 1.4 for an aperture, for instance, you might have a very narrow depth of field. In that case, any small movement back or front from you as a photographer or of your subject could lead to a blurry picture. Your focus might seem like it's off in that case. So just practice and practice and practice as a photographer to try to nail the focus. And if you're struggling with nailing the focus with a very narrow depth of field, you could try increasing the aperture and increase the depth of field. Try going from 1.4, for instance, to 2.8. That can make a world of difference. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content to come about beginner photographer lessons and more advanced lessons to come. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer all your questions. So that's it for this video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.